As I mentioned last episode, there have been rumors that the Lost Continent at Islands of Adventure could be turned into a Legend of Zelda-themed land. This makes sense for two reasons. One, the Lost Continent doesn't really have anything going for it anymore. Ever since they lost Merlin Wood to Hogsmeade, they don't have much anymore. The only ride that they have is a walkthrough attraction, and when you have to walk around all day, it isn't the most pleasant thing. Sure, they have the Mythos restaurant, but I'm not sure a restaurant could save this land. And two, they could easily replace it with a land based off of a very popular IP. So, what could a Legend of Zelda Lost Continent replacement look like? Today, I'm here to show you my thoughts. Now, this land will probably be based off of the next game in the franchise, Tears of the Kingdom, which still hasn't released, so you can imagine we don't know much about it. It should be similar to Breath of the Wild, so we can use the knowledge that we have from that game to create this land. The shops and restaurants should be easy to retheme. Of course, they would have to change the menus for the restaurants, though. For the first ride I have imagined that I have thought up of, a roller coaster. Big shocker there, am I right? The roller coaster would be based off of the gliding mechanic in the game. This coaster could either be a BNM Invert, BNM Flyer, Intamin Invert, or Intamin Flyer. But I would prefer a BNM Invert because it could be a reincarnation of dueling dragons of some sorts. As for the theme, I think someone would be opening up gliding tours or something. It's not like you're going to go up against Ganon. It would be a ride that's more on the longer side that would go up and over buildings of the land. And it could have a section of the ride that goes over the lagoon. If you wanted to have a more broad theme, then maybe Zelda could have engineered these gliders with ancient bow and arrows to fly and ambush Ganon. But that's idea. But that idea is a bit too far fetched for my taste. Now there is a patent filed by Universal that is a boat ride that will be scooped up by an overhead ride system right before plunging down a waterfall. Similar to the Inver, it wouldn't have an overall story that really that couldn't be far-fetched debate with me all you want but not every universal ride has to have a villain originally universal was going to make a super nintendo land with multiple nintendo properties among these properties that were in the original land there was you guessed it zelda this zelda section of the og nintendo land was supposed to have the stage show that we basically know nothing about there has also been speculation of a stage show coming to this land if it was built that would lift the audience, basically. As for what the show could be about, maybe it could be about the events of Breath of the Wild or the event that put Link in his century-old sleep. Also, the show building for this stage show could be in Ganon's castle. Hey, guys. Um... I'm sorry that today's video was on was more on the shorter side, but I kind of need time to think about the next video because it's going to be about Pokemon being a potential replacement for Kid Zone. So I kind of really need to think about you know how you're going to catch them. Anyways, these are just my um my AirPods basically. I know they're not AirPods; they're made by JBL though. So and also um, ignore my radioactive earwax. Anyways, so I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, share, do all of that jazz, and peace.